In this video, we'll be looking at how to combine like terms. Let's say that we're looking at a bowl containing some unknown number of apples, and then two more bowls of the same sort are added. We could write that situation as one bowl of apples plus two bowls of apples equals three bowls of apples. In algebra, we could use the letter a to represent the number of apples, and the number in front of the variable would represent the number of bowls or groups of apples that we have. The expression would then look like 1a plus 2a equals 3a. We could have written that, of course, as a plus 2a is equal to 3a, because when we say bowl of apples, we don't need to specifically say one bowl. It's just understood. And the same is true in algebra. If there's no number in front of the variable, it is always implied that there's a 1 there. So let's look at the expression 3x plus 4x plus x. To simplify that, we're going to need to add the like terms. Well, 3x is the same as saying x plus x plus x. And when we add 4x to that, we are adding an additional x plus x plus x plus x. And then, of course, we'd add one more x at the end. That would give us a grand total of 8x's. So to add like terms, we just need to add the coefficient, which is usually the number part, and the variable part always stays the same. Now let's look at the problem 8x squared minus 2x squared plus 7x. So let's start with the term 8x squared. We will then take away 2x squared, and then we'll be adding 7x's. Since x squared and x do not have the same exponents, they are not like terms and it cannot be combined. So the problem simplifies to 6x squared plus 7x. Now let's say that we were asked to simplify the expression for the perimeter of the pentagon birds. Well, the first step is to find the perimeter by adding all the sides together. So it'd be 4x plus 5x minus 3 plus 2x plus y plus 7y plus 5xy. Next is always a good idea to change the subtraction to adding the opposite. After we've done that, we can start working on combining like terms. Remember that like terms have the exact same variables. When looking at the different terms, we notice that several of them have just the variable x. So I will circle those. 4x plus 5x plus 2x is equal to 11x. I also notice that two terms have the y as a variable. So I'm going to put a square around those. And we'll be adding y to 7y, giving us 8y. 5xy is different than either x or y. That's its own term. It doesn't have any terms like it. And negative 3 also doesn't have any like terms. So we'll be adding those to the end of the expression. So the perimeter of the Pentagon birds is 11x plus 8y plus 5xy plus negative 3. It is often useful to check our work, especially if you're not really sure if two things are like terms. And the way we do this is we would compare our initial expression to our simplified expression and substitute a value for the x and a value for the y. So I'm going to replace each x in the expression with 5 and each y with 10. Remember that when we have a number next to a variable or two variables next to each other, that means multiplication. After I've done that, I'm going to follow the order of operations, which says we need to do all the multiplication first. When we do that, we get 20 plus 25 minus 3 plus 10 plus 10 plus 70 plus 250 is equal to 55 plus 80 plus 250 plus negative 3. Next, we'll need to subtract and add from left to right. 20 plus 25 is 45. Subtract 3, we get 42. Add 10, we get 52. At 10 more, we get 62. At 70, we get 132. At 250, we get 382. Now let's compare that with our simplified version. That'd be 55 plus 80, which is 135. When we add 250 to that, we get 385. And when we add negative 3, we get 382. Since both the initial and the simplified part of the expression ended up with the answer 382, the problem checks. Now why don't you try a problem on your own? Let's find the perimeter of a rectangular rug with a width that is 7 feet shorter than its length. To help you solve this, let's go through the following steps. First, draw the figures described above. Then go ahead and use x for the length. You can use any variable you want, but I think the explanation will be easier if we all use the same variable. After you do that, you want to write the expression for the width of the rectangle. Go ahead and label all the sides of the figure, write out the expression for the perimeter, and then simplify the expression. Go ahead and pause the video and try the problem on your own. And when you're done, unpause the video and check your work. 
So this is a rectangular rug, so the first thing we're going to do is just draw a rectangle. We're using X to represent the length. I'm going to go back to the original problem. It says the width is 7 feet shorter than the length, so we'd write that as X minus 7. To find the perimeter, we would add all the sides of the rectangle. That'd be X plus X minus 7 plus X plus X minus 7. And then by combining like terms, we see that we have 4X minus 14. So when we want to combine like terms, we need to look for everything with the exact same variables and exponents, add those together, and then see if there are any other like terms to add. 